yesterday we define if we are given a gm action on some v we defined the positive part the invariance and the negative part and more generally T is a torus acting on S in V. Well, so again, we have a base in S and if lambda. From GMS to T is a group homomorphism. Then through this group homomorphism, we get a, a GM action on, on V. And so we and so we denote with uh, with lambdas or the corresponding uh, positive part, uh, negative part, and uh, invariant parts. So this this depends on uh, on lambda. Okay, and for for brevity, so this such a morphism, let us call this uh, one parameter subgroup. So one one PSG for for short. Um, and we have the following proposition. Let G be a, a fine a group scheme over our base S. And let, let us be given, uh, yeah. Lambda to GM S to T be a one parameter subgroup. Oh, sorry. Um, uh, yeah, well, well, yeah, well. So consider, let's consider. Uh, a morphism of group from GM in, into G and consider the uh, resulting function of GMS on G by conjugation. That is for arbitrary point, uh, T acting on G is uh, lambda of T, uh, G, lambda of the minus one. Okay, so this is a, an action by a group automorphism and set that is denoted by P lambda, the positive part, and by Z lambda, the invariant part. Then we have the following uh, results. That P lambda and Z lambda are closed subgroup schemes. Uh, 
which uh, which I called uh, uh, was called limit at zero, so which I denoted yesterday by L sub zero from P lambda to Z lambda is a group homomorphism equal to identity on, on that lambda itself and and so if we denote by u of lambda the kernel the kernel of this multiplication map it is a closed subgroup a scheme and p lambda is a semi-direct product of this and the lambda uh, so if g over s is of finite type This group uh, U lambda as uh, unipotent geometric fibers. So, so this means that each geometric fiber is a unipotent uh, group, and falsely. So. Let the let the real bar, and and so of course uh, GM uh, GM acts on on G by the composition of lambda and the uh, adjoint action, and with obvious notation. With obvious meaning. We are that the Lie algebra, the Lie algebra of P lambda is the positive part uh, in G, and the Lie algebra of Z lambda is the set of invariants, the module of invariants in the Lie algebra. Okay, and. Um, Okay, so so all this is proved in the in the book by Conrad uh, Kaber uh, Prasad, and actually the, the proof is easy give, given what I proved yesterday. Uh, so the action is is by group of the automorphism. So we saw yesterday that these two are closed sub scheme. It's clear that they are subgroup schemes. Uh, we saw yesterday that this morphism uh, is well defined. It's clear, in fact, it's a group homomorphism. It's, the, it's clearly the identity on the set of fixed points. So the kernel is a closed subgroup. And because of this property, we have this uh, uh, semi direct uh, 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 decomposition. Uh, because so we have. So we have this map, and the inclusion of Z lambda is a section of this map, so it's okay. Uh, the hypothesis finite type is used. Uh, so uh, is used in the following manner. So on on each geometric fiber, G has finite 
uh, type for its um, honest algebraic group, and we, we can embed it in into GLN for some end. And uh, and so this one is contained in the corresponding uh, the corresponding subgroup for GLN, and a, a direct calculation shows that in the case of GLN, this is a, a unipotent subgroup, and so this is true for all of these. And so this is this is uh, more or less obvious. Okay, so yes, yeah, yeah. Let me add this. Uh, it is it is indeed part of the of the of the result. Okay, so that is T is smooth. Also, uh, uh, P lambda, Z lambda, and A lambda. But I, so this is true, but I, I, I yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, yeah, but it, yeah, it's true for, yeah, it's true for all of them. And actually, I'm, uh, it's it's true uh, in, in the case that I, when I'm going to use it, I'm I, I, I'm going to to give a, a self-contained proof of of smoothness, but yeah, it's it's true in general. Okay, so so now back to G as reductive S group scheme. And assume G as a maximal torus T let alpha be a root of the pair uh, G T and let G alpha be the centralizer in G of the kernel of alpha. And so this one is a reductive S group scheme. And it's Lie algebra. So let, let T be the Lie algebra of the torus. So this is T plus K alpha plus K minus alpha. Okay. And we want to construct uh, a nice uh, subgroup uh, uh, U alpha. Uh, okay, so what do we do? Uh, um, so, so replacing, if necessary, as by some open subsets, uh, we can assume alpha is the constant element of M. Okay, so, so, yeah. So we assume that the torus, the maximal torus is, is split. And so is given by a, a, a finite free abelian group uh, M. And so as I said yesterday, a root is a locally uh, constant section of uh, the constant group M and so well, we do. We, we take an open set on which it is constant. And we consider the uh, dual abelian group, which we denote by M check. So this is uh, from Z of M into Z. So, so since, since T is a, is a torus, so this group is, uh, is Z to the D for, for, for some D and so the so the dual abelian group is also some z uh, to the d. 
And since alpha is a non-zero, we can find, we can find some lambda in the dual group such that uh, the pairing alpha lambda is some integer n quickly positive. Okay, so we have we have the natural pairing between uh, m and m zero, and since alpha is non-zero, uh, we can pick some lambda such that the, the pairing is is n and strictly positive. Well, maybe we cannot arrange that n is equal to one because alpha uh, is is perhaps not uh, an indi indivisible element uh, of the lattice, but we, we we can we can get this. Okay, and then uh, lambda defines uh, one parameter subgroup on GMS PT uh, because such such one PSGs are uh, local section uh, locally constant. Uh, uh, function with value in in m change so we have a, we have a constant function so we have a, a one psg like, like like this and uh, okay uh, and so i think i want to prove Uh, do I need this? Uh, okay, so um, so we want to prove the following COM that firstly uh, there exists a unique uh, group homomorphism, which we will call exponential alpha from G alpha to G, uh, such that, so which is normalized by T. So by this, we mean that uh, if we take exponential alpha of t acting on an element in the Lie algebra, which happens to be alpha of t times x. And so this is t exponential alpha x universe. So there exists a unique uh, such, uh, which induces as a canonical embedding uh, a canonical inclusion of G alpha into G. Okay, because if we have a group homomorphism, then it's uh, the differential of the identity, the morphism from G alpha to, to G, and so we, we require this homomorphism to be the canonical inclusion. And uh, moreover, X bar alpha is an isomorphism between G alpha and uh, U alpha. Oh, sorry, I didn't say what is U alpha. Uh, is an isomorphism. Yeah, okay. Uh, where uh, U alpha is a, a closed subgroup of G alpha. Okay, so. Well, there is a second point, but I will state. I will state and prove it uh, later. So let, let's prove this uh, this important uh, result. 
Hmm? Uh, in this case, yes, uh, uh, yes, I am. Well, it's it uh, because on, on on the fibers, it is uh, what we think it is. Uh, hmm? Yes, yes. Okay, so I have to think a little bit. Oh yeah, so the, that's okay. Yeah. Okay, so we have this uh, one parameter subgroup uh, with value uh, in t, and it, it turns out that uh, t is contained in g alpha, which is contained in uh, in g, and and so we get. So we get by conjugation an action of GM on G alpha and G. Okay, because so. Uh, hmm? Yeah, okay, and so the, the second statement, uh, of course, there is a similar result for the negative of alpha. So we also have uh, the same thing for alpha. And the second statement is that the product map u alpha cross c cross u alpha to g alpha is an open immersion. Yeah, so, so this way we have both uh, statements. Okay, so, so the first one contains in particular the definition of a certain uh, subgroup U alpha, which is isomorphic to the additive, well, which is isomorphic to G alpha uh, via some uh, isomorphism that we are going to construct. And so in a similar manner, we have a, a, a group for the, for the root minus alpha. And so, so the, st the second statement is that the multiplication map induces a, a, an open immersion. Okay, um, so once we have one, two is easy. So, uh, uh, well, so, so we, have to, to, we have to prove one. Okay, so we have this one parameter subgroup and so the action by conjugation induces an action on G, which stabilizes uh, G alpha. Okay, and uh, so let us concentrate on the action on, on this one. And uh, then, Uh, then we obtain that in this case, the centralizer is uh, T uh, itself. Okay, so, 
So the, the Lie algebra of this group is just that of, of the Torahs plus two non-zero uh, white space. And so, well, uh, the centralizer of, uh, of lambda, so certainly it contains T because it, uh, and it, it cannot, be, and it's it's a it's a smooth subgroup whose Lie algebra is T, so it cannot be larger than T. But this is it. And using the proposition, and using the previous proposition, we obtain that P lambda. Uh, is the semi-direct product uh, where uh, u alpha is the kernel of the uh, of the limit map? Okay, and. Uh, so, so we get we get for free a closed subgroup, some group of the alpha, and we know that its Lie algebra is a G alpha, and by the theory over an algebraically closed uh, field, we know all fibers of uh, U alpha are the usual uh, each fiber uh, is is the usual uh, uh, one-dimensional unipotent uh, subgroup. Uh, Okay, so so in each fiber we have uh, we have a reductive uh, group of, a, of a, in each geometric fiber we we have a, a reductive group of of four and one, uh, which is a stabilized and and so what what we get is just the, the usual uh, U alpha, which is uh, uh, so, so subgroup normalized by the torus and it is isomorphic to the to the additive group. So this gives this gives a statement about the fibers. So the, the fibers are the unipotent group that we know of a of an algebraically closed field. Hmm? No, no, it's a con I, I want to deduce uh, the smoothness from, from this. Ah, uh, be, be, because of a, a, a statement that I didn't mention here, so that a formation of everything, yeah, P, Q, commutes with a base change. Yeah, I forgot to, to mention this and uh, this is already true in the setting of yesterday. So, in the in the context of an action of GM on a variety, we have this positive uh, part and uh, and everything uh, uh, commutes with a base change. Uh, yeah, so that's, that's a good question. Yeah. So when we go to the fibers, we 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 are in the usual situation, and so we we get the, the fibers are, are what we think. And so this imply, in particular, that U alpha is smooth 
over S. Okay, so we, which is proved in, in general, but here we have uh, uh, all fibers are one dimensional, so, so, so this one is, is flat and the fibers are smooth and so it is smooth. Okay, and, uh, and of course, so is uh, P lambda, which is this. Okay, so we, we already have the, the group and now we have to look for existence and existence of exponential. Um, um, okay, so the well, the, the, the the proof is a bit long. The proof by Cornell is is a bit long. I, I think there is a the following uh, shortcut. Um, okay, so we may assume. Uh, well, we assume S uh, is. Uh, Assume S is a fine. Uh, and so I'll say uh, S is spec of uh, lambda. Um, and then uh, and then uh, our u alpha is also some spec uh, of a, and uh, and so let's okay. So let m be the uh, the, the the augmentation ideal. So, uh, which defines uh, the, the unit section. And then we know that uh, uh, oh, I didn't. Well, then we know that M over M squared is uh, Well, is is uh, is locally free Big by 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 smoothness. U alpha is uh, is smooth. Okay, so so this is actually so this is uh, the the shift of uh, well, this is a cotangent bundle to the to the unit section. So this is uh, this is locally free, and uh it's dual it's dual is uh is a Lie algebra of uh, of your alpha so which is uh which is this okay so if we if we look at the exact sequence uh so m is a, a shift of ideal Okay, so so since since this is locally uh, ah. well, so since this is locally free, so this uh, this splits at least locally. Well, uh, if if we uh, well, I think in the affine case it it splits because we we do have a projective module of uh, and so so there is a so there is a, a section. Uh, like this, and uh, and if we consider the uh, the okay, and and so GM is like well, the the torus is acting on on, on everything, and since there uh, there is an OS mod 
uh, section, there is also a, a, a section which is uh, equivalent for the action of, uh, of T. So we, what we get, Okay, so, so I claim that uh, we get a T equivalent um, morphism of OS modules uh, from M over M squared. So this embeds into the uh, into the well into the ring of uh, of uh, into the the ring of function of uh, this uh, u alpha and um, and so this induces. Uh, morphis a t, a t equivalent of algebras uh, so we, we take the symmetric algebra of this thing To, uh, uh, to this. Uh, uh, okay, and uh, so, uh, so what is this? Uh, Yeah. Uh, this. Uh, because this is locally free, so so this this splits as an OS module, and uh, the the properties of uh, representation of a, of a diagonalizable group is that anything that if we have an exact sequence of T modules, which which is split as a as a map uh, as a uh, which is split as a OS module, it is also split as a T modules. So this, hmm? yeah. 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 Yes, yes, yes. 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 Uh No, T is a T is a T is a, is a torus. Uh, okay, so we, if we take the home, uh, yeah, it's a, the the the, the so-called uh, reactive orchilomology is uh, vanishes. Re relative, it means exactly that if it, if it splits over the base ring, then it splits at, at the representation. Yeah, 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 exactly. Yeah. 
So, so there is a, a T equivalent section, and so we, we get this. And so this, uh, so this corresponds, uh, okay, so, so this corresponds, uh, so this corresponds to the vector bundle uh, G alpha. And so this is our U alpha, and so this, so we have actually a map, this corresponds to, uh, to a map in this direction. So U alpha goes to this. And, uh, and the, the, the point is that both are flat over S, and indeed they are smooth. And uh, it's uh, fiber-wise and isomorphism. So fiber-wise, it's an isomorphism. So this is this argument of uh, Bialiniki uh, Birura, which uh, which says that uh, uh, if you have an affine variety uh, with an action of a of a torus, if you have a one fixed point, and if 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 at this fixed point, all the weights of the torus are in a in a uh, in an open half space, so they are all positive. Uh, then uh, there is a, a, a kind of a graded, you can apply a sort of graded Nakayama. Uh, and this tells you that this map is a, uh, is a, is a closed dimension. And if the, the thing is, uh, is smooth, it has the same, uh, is, well, smooth, it has the same dimension as its ten tangent space. And so the closed dimension is an isomorphism. And so, and so it's it's a fiber wise and isomorphism and ends and isomorphism. Okay, so this is uh, the sort for uh, uh, isomorphism. Um, and so this uh, this uh, so okay so. Let me arrange. No. Yes. Well, okay. So what I mean is that uh, locally, is that whiskey locally? So this line bundle is uh, is trivial. Uh, and 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 so the uh, and one has an isomorphism. Uh. Okay, so if we uh, If we denote by A uh, this ring, uh, no, sorry, O of S is lambda, and the ring of function on U alpha, if we call it A. So what is this isomorphic? So the for the Lie algebra, uh, we have this polynomial ring, and we have an isomorphism. to the coordinate ring on uh, our uh, uh, U alpha. Uh, and, and the action of uh, T here is uh, by, okay, so, so we have a polynomial ring in one variable and so the and, and the torus acts on the generator by by alpha. So still using the the convention of yesterday that I, I well, I, I do not change. Uh, well, uh, the torus acts with the same weight uh, on the variety and on, on the on the ring of functions. So there is not t minus one as well. Okay, so. 
if if I didn't get it wrong, so this is a, a short proof of, uh, uh, yeah, yeah, and 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 then the the, the uniqueness is also clear because uh, uh, okay and. Well, if if you have if you have two such maps, okay, and and, and so uh, at at the level of Lie algebras, uh, so you have the map here from okay, uh, and so if uh, so if we have. Well, so so we know that uh, so we know that U alpha is indeed isomorphic uh, to to the additive group with the, the action of T that we we think, and the claim is that if if we if we have just another homomorphism, call it phi, to uh, U lambda, uh, such that. The differential of of this is uh, is the identity on G alpha. So if we if we compose this phi with the inverse of this isomorphism, uh, so the the condition uh, and okay so 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 we we normal if we normalize this one so that its differential is the identity. Uh, then it is unique, and 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 moreover, there is a unique uh, morphism because essentially the 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 only phi with this property uh, will be this one because the the the, the composite is a uh, well the composite in other way is an endomorphism of this as a graded ring. So it takes x to a multiple of x, and being the identity on the Lie algebra means that it's, it takes x to x. Okay, so 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 we have all so we have all at once, and so we I think that this even gives globally. So this gives uh, globally, it seems. Uh, So, so uh, this means that uh, th there is an isomorphism uh, of of this line bundle with uh, this, this subgroup. Okay, so w w which is a sort for result, um, uh, but but I think so that this construction that I explain locally, so it 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 it, it works already uh, uh, globally. So we just take the symmetric algebra of the line bundle, and everything works fine. Okay, so this is a, this is a bit shorter than the proof that is explained in uh, in uh, Conrad notes. Uh, okay, so even if there is a flaw in my proof, uh, there is a there is a proof in Conrad, but oh, okay, I, I explain this in one minute. But well, I I I think this is well, this is a proof that one should remember. Okay, so that makes it transparent. So this is the proof that it must be the correct proof. Okay, so so Conrad proof is a, is a, is more complicated, and I think this is better. So how did the Mazur do? Hmm? Yes, yes. So how how did the Mazur do? So he, he didn't he didn't. He didn't think about uh, he didn't think about that, so he didn't have u alpha. So what he did, he, he started uh, uh, at a, at a close point, uh, and so he, he had u alpha at a close point. Then he computed the Horschel homology uh, with a value in the in g alpha, and it turns out to be zero. So you can expand this to uh, infinitesimal neighborhood of your close point, and then to the completion of the local ring at that close point. So you 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 get some you get a unipotent group isomorphic to G A over the completion of the local ring. Then there is again some trick 
uh, that it descends to the initialization of the local ring and it descends to an etal neighborhood. So, so the mesure had to work first to construct uh, the U alpha, but uh, the good point of the of his construction is that he knew it was it was the uh, the additive group G alpha, uh, and then he proved uh, something like this. And then he, he proved that uh, if we have a T equivariant uh, isomorphism between this U alpha and its Lie algebra. Uh, it is unique if we normalize it by the condition that uh, the, the induce uh, the, the, dif the differential of the isomorphism is the identity on the Lie algebra. And so it remains to, to construct one uh, et al locally. And uh, he does something like this. So he said, well, um, um, In, is that, no, 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 it's arbitrary. And actually, I, I, I felt a bit cheated in, in, in the measure argument. Uh, I, I think Radati uh, has this feeling too, because for, uh, for five or 10 pages, it's, it's, it's always assumed that we have this and this, so then we have some further conclusions. So you, you read this, you say, okay, okay, I assume uh, whatever you want, but wh when do we prove something? And, and then at the end, as a consequence of, uh, of, all, of, of, of an argument of uh, uniqueness, uh, at some point, so the, the exponential map uh, occurs. I, 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 don't, I don't remember. Uh, um, maybe he expands it uh, from the time. I, 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 I don't remember. Uh, maybe it's a version of this. I I, I don't know, but well. So the, this, this well, this, I think this, this this has to be the the proof. Okay, so we have uh, we have uh, now associated with each root alpha. We have uh, uh, a group like this, and we think we are almost done, but not quite because. So we are well. So we have roots, and uh, okay, so. Assume that we assume that uh, uh, we have a group of uh, some days, and we know that fiber-wise it is uh, SL3. So fiber-wise, uh, there are two uh, simple roots, alpha and beta, and the sum alpha plus beta, and we constructed uh, some roots, that is uh, some some characters of the of the torus, and we know that. There are two of them that we can call alpha and beta, and there is a first sum. And so the information that we have, we have uh, uh, an abelian group, which is Z2, which is a character group of the torus. And we know that we have six elements uh, like this. So these three and the, the negatives. But if, if you look at my pictures and you, you feel uncomfortable because that's not the picture that we we expect for for the root system of uh, SL3. We know that the roots are not uh, like uh, like this. We know that they are. Uh, uh, we know that they are like that. Okay, so so we miss some information about the root system. That is, uh, uh, there is a Vi group acting and and. Uh, there, there are some integrality on the on the root system that 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 well that forces the the root system to be what it is. It's not only a subset of uh, uh, three elements in Z two and the negatives. So we miss the Vi group or, or something. And so the next step is to to okay. So the next step is uh, is the construction of the of the Vi group or the say the core roots. And I will just explain the measure proof now. Okay, so now the next step. The next step is construction. of the expected 
one parameter subgroup, which we will call alpha church. Okay, uh, giving rise to a, a reflection S alpha uh, acting on the character group. Yes, yes, it does. And, and, and now there is some computation to make, and, but I, I, I like the original computation by, by the mesure, which I will explain. And, and Conrad does it. He, he has modified the computation slightly, so it's, uh, the, the calculation is a bit shorter in, in Conrad's notes, but he uses a, a deep result of Gaber uh, about uh, extensions of SL2, so I, I, I prefer them as your proof. And uh, so the, 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 uh, the point is that, point is that alpha lands in subgroup uh, generated. by uh, u alpha, u minus alpha. And which has to be isomorphic to SL2 or PDA2. Okay, so so the, the, the hard point, uh, because so th this alpha church is, is, if it exists, it, it is unique. And if if we can get rid of the torus, um, uh, if we reduce to one of those two groups where, where the torus is uh, one dimension is one dimensional, then there is no choice for for alpha stretch. And and we have we have uh, g we have g alpha. And we have the kernel, and so the the quotient is uh, well. May well. I think we have an exact sequence la like this. And uh, and, and so there is an argument of Gabbert uh, which which uh, which shows that this this is uh, this exact sequence uh, splits uh, FPQC locally, and um. And then we are uh, reduced to constructing uh, alpha change with value in SL2. And, but still, there is some work to, to do. And wants to, one has to use this result. So I, I prefer the Mazur proof uh, because uh, uh, there is a beautiful argument uh, going from, the, from one fiber to the, uh, to the whole thing. OK, so if we just give a a sketch of the proof. So we, so what we know is that we have this multiplication map. And this is an isomorphism onto some uh, open uh, subset of G alpha. OK, so on, on this, any element in this can be written uh, uniquely as a product uh, la like this. And, um, okay, so uh, assume uh, G alpha and G minus alpha are uh, trivialized, are, uh, trivialized over S uh, with uh, sections X with uh, nowhere a vanishing. Okay, so we have our two line bundles, and so we 
so we, we, we breast fix the base to some open subset where both cis line bundle are, are trivialized, and so each has a, a nowhere uh, vanishing section. And we consider the map from GA square uh, to, uh, to G, uh, which sends. Uh, So let's, let's call it M. So which sends a couple uh, U, UV to exponential alpha of UX time exponential minus alpha of VY. And so for, for short, let us denote this by P alpha of U and this uh, P minus alpha of V. And so they are written in the wrong order. So in on, on the big cell, the, the chart is on, on the other, okay. And, uh, okay, so, so we have this. And so we let, we, here we have the, the big cell and so, let us denote by, okay, so let us, okay. So let us denote by omega tilde the, the inverse image of omega uh, through this. Okay, and so if this is a point in omega tilde, uh, then this guy can be uh, rewritten in the, in the right order. So this is, uh, this is, equal to P minus alpha of some function A of U and V uh, times an element uh, of the torus um, B of U V and P alpha of C of U V with So we have uh, so we have these two maps. So A and C goes into GA into the additive group, and uh, B goes from omega tilde to the torus. Uh, Omega tilde is the is the inverse image of omega. Yeah, so this is yeah. This is omega tilde. So this is a, the set of all all pairs U V such that this this product uh, can be uh, rewritten in in the right order. So we get so we get two functions. So we get three functions uh, la like this. And so let me just for any S prime over S and any point T in T of S prime. So one has um, Okay, and, and and so this this map is uh, so if if we apply m to t acting on the couple u v, so which means m of so u is in uh, is meant to be in uh, in so this is alpha of t u and alpha of t inverse v and so this is a p minus alpha of a of alpha of t u alpha of 
alpha of B inverse B times B of alpha of T U alpha of T inverse B and B alpha of C of alpha of T alpha of T inverse V and so this is also T times M of U V. And so if, if I conjugate this by, uh, by, by T, so we, here we obtain T minus alpha of alpha of T inverse A of U V times B of U V and times B alpha of alpha of T C of U V. Okay, so I, I will stop in five minutes. I, I will not finish the, the computation, but I, let us just write uh, what, uh, what this means. And let us write this here. Okay, so let us write, let us, Right for short, let, let us denote by Z this element uh, alpha of t, and so if we if we compare the, the two equation, uh, we have that Z inverse a of u v is equal to a of what of Z u Z inverse v. And uh, we have B of Z U, Z inverse V is equal to B of U V. And so the last one, what is the last one? The last one is that Z C of U V is equal to C of Z U. Z inverse B. Okay, so if a V is invertible, we can take uh, we can take a Z equal to V, and we get starting from the, the right, that A of UV1 is equal to, uh, and we get that A of UV. Is it, so I, I multiply this, so we get this. And so this one, if U is in GM, um, again, we can take Z equal to uh, U. Uh, no, uh, take Z equal uh, U inverse. Is that correct? Yes. And uh, we get the C of uh, U V. So this is U inverse, so we get U times uh, C one U V. Uh, okay, so, well, so since, since the character alpha is, uh, is non-trivial, well, so this map is uh, subjective, so uh, well, so this can take any value, uh, uh, any any invertible z can be written like this. So we have this, and so we have we have these equalities when u and v are invertible, and so by density we have this everywhere. Okay, and and so uh, this this uh, 
So this function of, of two variable uh, depends only on, on this function. And the mesure next proves that there exists uh, an open uh, subset uh, W of zero in uh, GA uh, such that C of one X and A of X one are invertible are in G M of S prime if X is in W and then he, then he said, and so he denotes by uh, so he calls e of x the inverse of the, of this one, and f uh, of x it's the inverse of the other one. So let me no e is uh, no. So this is f. And F is with A and E is uh, with, uh, with this. Okay, and so so it proves that for uh, UV it, in some open subsets, of uh, G A square, one other formula like this: p alpha of u, p minus alpha of v. This is equal to p minus alpha of v divided by f of uv uh, times some h of uv and p alpha of u over e of uv um, and yeah and i think h of x is just the element b of X1, so this is an element of the torus. Okay, so it proves that there is a formula la like this. And uh, with, with some more work, okay, with more work, uh, gives, uh, that um, okay so if so both Denominators are given by a, a very uh, simple formula, and as a map a P uh, from uh, G A S to T, uh, which sends X to H of one plus A X uh, extends. to uh, morphism of groups alpha church from GMS to T. Okay, and so this is a construction of alpha church. Okay, so so this is a so this is a, a nice computation. Uh, some well some functional equations that uh, this, uh, says that sort of that is fine. And now the point is that uh, since A is invertible, 
uh, the image of a neighborhood of zero here is a, a neighborhood of the point one in GM. And uh, also this map uh, is multiplicative. That is, if uh, if you have two points of, of that form in, in the neighborhood of zero, then H of the product is the product of the H is. Uh, and so by 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 your easy form of the Artinville uh, result in expose uh, 18, uh, this extends to a morphismal group, and this is the sort for uh, Alpacich. Okay, so I will do the full computation in in August. No, 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 no. Yeah, that, that's that, that's much easier than this because in expose. Uh, the, the result is that if 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 you have a, a, a homomorphism which is partially defined, so the group already the the groups already exist, and uh, you you have a morphism from a neighborhood of the identity of one group, to the uh, which is multiplicative whenever it is defined, then it extends to a group homomorphism. And the proof is uh, is easy. It's half a page, and it's 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 easy to follow. So, uh, so this is much much easier than the the result at the end of the chapter, uh, uh, where the, when a, a group law is contracted. So this is uh, way way more difficult. So this is a, a baby case when the group structure is already given. If you have a, a, a partial homomorphism, then it extends to a, to a true homomorphism. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, so, so that's another question. So, so let me mention just one, one beautiful thing is that the, so the, in the proof of this, this formula, uh, so it's important that A be an invertible element. And the, the proof is that if it is not, then it is zero. Uh, it belongs to some maximal ideal. So it, it, it becomes zero in some fiber. And then this, this gives that the, the groups U alpha and U minus alpha, they commute on this fiber. And we know that this is not true. And so I, I, I like this part because so this is, so th this is some fiber y results uh, that that give a global result on the on the structure of this uh, of this multiplication law. Okay, uh, now to your question: the existence of Chevalier group. De Masur liked to to construct it uh, using uh, the, the hard part of uh, Artin Weil and starting from the big cell and but. Uh, Chevalier proof in, in, in seminar Bourbaki 62 is, uh, I checked it line by line, it's, it's correct. So you, we, we can construct the group uh, by, by taking the, the schematic closure uh, inside some representation, which is also what, it, what is done by Bria and Tietz. And it, it, so there is a proof uh, that uh, there is one proof which should be true, uh, which is the one to, to which Cartier and Coston sought in the in the sixties. So you you take the enveloping algebra of Z and you take uh, its dual as uh, as uh, half algebras and 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 Coston claim. Uh, uh, that that this is uh, this is the coordinate ring of the of the group of a Z. He never published a proof because he, he certainly didn't have one because it's it's uh, I don't have one uh, either. It's it's difficult to prove that this thing uh, gives a, a reduced algebra at uh, HP, and but a proof was given uh, by by Lustig uh, using quantum groups. But uh, I think this is cheating. But yeah, yeah, yeah. Hmm? Because he considered the constant uh, third form. And uh, oh, Ch Chevalet considered the operators inside a given representation. So he, he had the idea to consider the, the constant expressions, but only as 
endomorphism inside a given uh, in, inside a given module. And I think it was uh, Coston and independently Cartier who had the idea to consider the, the corresponding uh, universal enveloping algebras generated by those symbols. And, and so we, we, we get a nice uh, Hopf algebra over Z, and it's natural to expect that it's uh, the Hopf algebra dual is, uh, is a coordinate ring of the, of the group over Z. But it's, it's difficult to prove that, it, that the reduction mode P is, uh, is smooth. And there is a proof by Lustig uh, which uses uh, quantum groups because, uh, because basically you, you, you modify slightly. The, well, so you, 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 one has to prove that, uh, that the thing is flat and that the, the fibers of HP are, are reduced algebras. And using quantum groups, uh, you have a nice basis of, of this thing. And by deformation, you can prove the result. So I'm, I'm, I, I don't like this proof, but uh, it, it, it's, uh, it's the best uh, algebraic proof that we have for, for the moment. But OK. OK, so let us stop here for, for this month. And so we will complete this. Uh, we'll continue this in, in August. OK, thank you. <laughs>